our next guest show. What a privilege to have someone here that I'm, I'm going to use her money. Uh, <laughs> Nayo Mishlangu, uh, designer. Big welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We're going to get to the, the coins. You designed two of the new two Rand coins. Yes, I have. Um, but before we're going to get there, we just want to get to know you. Uh, so where did you grow up? Oh, well, I grew up in Pretoria. Serious? Yes. <laughs> Are you a Pretoria girl? <laughs> yeah, born and bred from here. I went to one high school, one school all my life. Went to University of Pretoria. So, w- yeah. Which school were you in? Uh, I was in a small private school called Charlton First College. Okay. And then after that, I went to uh, the University of Pretoria. And then that's where I studied medical sciences, of all things. Wow. No. Because, yeah, because when I grew up, I, I, didn't, I wasn't exposed to anything creative or anything designed. So the, you know, the route that most people take when they're doing well in school is medicine or law or those things. So I studied that and then after working in healthcare for a while, um, I discovered that shucks, I can actually be a creative and make this a career. And then I made the leap of faith and uh, went into the creative space and now I'm here. Designing what quest. an amazing story! It's just amazing. Yeah, but but I mean, a talent for for it starts with drawing. Yeah, yeah. Um, as a child, already you were drawing, and you realize I'm in a bit better than the rest. <laughs> not only stock money keys. Yeah, not stock money keys. <laughs> you need stock money keys. Yeah, no, I've been drawing since primary school. Um, I've I, I did art in high school, uh, mm. and I was a bit good in in school. So I think I loved it then, but I just was not aware that I could do anything about it while mm. I was while I was in school, you know. Mm. So, but I've been doing it my whole life. Am I correct to say your your main focus is like charcoal? Yeah. And then you and it's so funny charcoal drawings with digital illustration. Yeah. So that's like bringing your raw talent and combine it with technology. Oh, yes, modernized. yes, actually, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So how, how does the process work? So um, I started with charcoal because I think like most people, they start with pencil. Mm. So I started with pencil and then I didn't like how pencil shines when you when you look at it from different angles. So then natural progression was to go into charcoal because it, it's just richer. Mm. And then from there, um, there was a time where, when I ran out of paper and then I took my laptop and then there's this program called Illustrator. And I just played around with it because I, I was craving to create something, but I just didn't have anything to work with. So then I started teaching myself how to illustrate. Mm. And that's how it happened that now I know how to do that. Uh, being a multifaceted artist, um, how does one actually identify which element you want to specialize in? I think, I think it should be based on what you enjoy the most. Is it? Yeah. And what you want to challenge yourself in the most. Um, what you want to be better in the most. Um, I think as a creative, you should do something that you're most comfortable in. And obviously, if you want to be the best and want to excel in your craft, you need to enjoy it, but also challenge yourself in doing that. And I think that's why I chose charcoal and illustration because I love them, but they both challenge me. And uh, I always want to do better and be better in those mediums. So that's why I continue doing those mediums. Yeah. Mm. Nayo Mashlanga, a big Mashlangu. welcome again. <laughs> Mashlangu. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me. Oh, this is you. Mashlangu. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to mess it up like, like Indri with Mishlangu. Solomon Mishlangu. Mishlangu. Oh, Mishlangu. Solomon Mashlangu. Yeah, family? Like that. I hope so. <laughs> is it I family? So. I hope so. Yes, you must go into I need to your, do my research. You'll claim you must it. go You'll do claim research. It. Yeah, yeah, I should. I should. Mashlangu. Yeah. Uh, designer <laughs> and also the designer of two of the new two rent coins. Mm. This is exciting. So, um, just this is now. I'm going to try to say this in English. Um, commemorating 25 years. Yeah. Um, so special to be part of this. Yeah. Um, you know, does someone just phone you? Who decides? Hey, I'm going to get the designer. Um, how does it happen? <laughs> something like this? Because it's just amazing. I mean, you're yeah. part of history now, and that I think that is amazing. I mean, forever that is your design on a two rand coin. Yeah. 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 Well, I still can't believe it. So. Sure. Well, I think, I don't know how they made the internal decision, but they just, they just reached out to me and they selected a couple of artists uh, to do this. I'm not mm. the only one. Yes, there's, yeah, some, yeah. there's a new five rand one. Mm. Um, there's a couple. I see Lady Scully, mm. Uh, mm. Micah Bakker mm. did some Peter Mames of yes. names. Yes, yes, um, yes. So, so it's five artists. Five artists. Yes, and then we were chosen to do these circulation coins as well as collectible coins. 
Um, and I can't describe how it feels like. Sometimes I just wake up and somebody reminds me on, on Instagram or something and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've, mm. oh, this is going to live for a couple of years and I think it's just an honor. To and it's going through so to, many hands. So many, so many millions of hands. I, sure. I can't even phantom wow. how, right, how that must be. Uh, one thing, no. th when I heard you know, that you had this opportunity, the, the first thing that, that came to mind was uh, that intense pressure that you feel that pressure of, of knowing, um, you know, once you've designed this, it's, it's going to circulate and it's, it's done. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, we had a lot of help from the South African Mint. Uh, okay. They gave us a lot, of, a lot of guidelines because, first of all, the coin is so tiny. Um, to, to shrink an artwork to something that is literally no, you 10 need to consider that. Mm. And also you need to consider interpretation of the design that you put there. So they, they, they took us through the process. So it wasn't as intimidating as you might think because we, we got a lot of help. But still, it was, it was a bit stressful. <laughs> How much freedom yeah. did you actually have? Did they give you a theme or something that you had to work according to? Or did you have some freedom as to what you wanted to design? Yeah, so they, they took the Bill of Rights. Mm -hmm. And out of the Bill of Rights, they took 10 rights mm. that they thought would be fitting for 25 years of our democracy. Wow. And then they, they gave us... Uh, they gave five artists the different themes and then we created artworks based on those themes. And then obviously with their help and guidelines, but that's where the themes come from. So I made the mm -hmm. right to education coin and the right, the children's, children's rights coin. Right. Yeah. And it's special. I mean, if you look at the, I mean, these little kids on the children's rights one yeah. and right to education, was there any other one you, you thought maybe I would love to do this one? Because the five rand coin because it's bigger. Yeah, <laughs> so funny. No, actually, the collectibles are even bigger than yeah. the five rand coin. I would have loved that. Yeah. But and it's interesting. The five rand one is like the, the queue with the first elections. It's it's also very well done. Yeah. Um, and freedom of That's religion, belief, and opinion. And I think even people are thinking. I mean, it's a lot of things going wrong mm -hmm. in South Africa in terms of crime and people are negative. It's happening to everybody. Yeah. But if you just take that. Um, the freedom just to, to be able to raise your opinion mm. and to be able to believe what you believe without persecution, mm. it's a massive thing. And mm. we, we're one of the countries in the world that's the most free. Mm. Um, but mm. for, for you, between the two, what was, what was more special, the children or the education? You feel passionate about both. I love both, but mm. I have to say I love the children's rights one mm. uh, because maybe it's because I love portraiture. I love drawing faces and what is more amazing than drawing children's faces mm. and to put it in a coin or something that I had to do. I had to do it and it came out beautifully. Mm. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So now do you get paid to do this? Uh, oh, no. Yes, I, I do. So. But <laughs> Yes, I do. But it's I supporting the artist. You don't need to say how much. <laughs> no, but they did. They did remunerate us yeah. as well. Yeah. But it wasn't just four rand. They gave you two. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yes, four rand. Thank you for the points. <laughs> Thank goodness it wasn't just four rand. <laughs> and in terms of marketing, I mean, if, if I go through your CV, mm -hmm. um, your exhibitions, yeah. um, your works, I mean, being top 40 creatives under 30 and top 10 finalists for Emerging Artist Development Program, yeah. it's just amazing. Something like this for a career. Sure. I mean, if, on your CV, this is huge. Yeah. Mm. Especially since out of, I don't know how many artists are in the country, there mm. are only five yeah. who were chosen wow. to do this. And to be one of the five is something that is really remarkable. It, it really has changed my career. Mm. And I'm really thankful for it because it, it I, I knew that it was going to do something great for my career, but I didn't think it was going to be something this big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm really, really thankful for that. And now, I mean... Focusing still on children, mm -hmm. motivating people, motivating, motivating children. This interview is going to be on YouTube and you can share it. Yeah. The, that break from doing what you, and you, you studied yeah. and then living your passion. Yeah. Um, the, to motivate someone to say, live the dream, it, it's, a, it's possible to happen. Because look at your, your story. Yeah, yeah. How would you motivate uh, kids watching this program? Um, I think the biggest thing is that whatever you choose, whether it's accounting or whatever you choose, just make sure that you really give it your all. Like dive in and work hard at it and really be obsessed with it because the moment you're obsessed with it, there is no way nothing great will happen. You will be excellent as long as you put in the hours and you put in the sweat in whatever field you choose, whether it's art, whether it's medicine. If you put in the hours, you're will, you will, you bound to do well. Mm. Yeah. What's about to be the, the next challenge that you're going to accept? <laughs> well, thankfully, so I just finished um, 
showing it 100% Design South Africa. That was the first time I showed the coins publicly, uh, which was really great. The reception was incredible. Um, but the thing that I'm working on right now is my first solo, which is going to be in a couple of months. Uh, it's going to be called Love is Binary, which is going to be something that is beautiful. And I think uh, if people are interested in art, they should, they should follow me on, on social media and just keep, in t keep up to date with that. And uh, I'm also working on my studio space and trying mm. to be serious and professional <laughs> and that's coming up really well it's coming out really well and i think those are the two major challenges that i'm really working on right now and i think that's going to really be beautiful mm. i'm excited where, where can people see your work because i mean we've got some info and yeah. um, just googling you and it's amazing your stuff's beautiful thank you um and it's some i mean it's on permanent exhibitions um, even just that is is amazing to be on yeah, yeah. Um, so so right now i'm showing work at the Agog gallery uh, the show is going to end around the 18th of August. And then after that, I'm showing at the uh, at exhibition, the first Rand exhibition. Mm. That's opening on the 21st of August. Um, and then there are a couple more exhibitions throughout the year. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm always posting about it online. Mm. Uh, so if people are interested, they can they can follow me there. Mm. Yeah. And just uh, just quickly, and I mean, it's, it's marketing, but uh, I actually want to thank Private Sector South Africa. Yeah. You've done some stuff with Steers, uh, combined with Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, and Mr. Price Home. It's, it's, it's so wide. But if these guys don't support the artist, yeah. the local artist, the local artist yeah. it will be so much uh, more difficult. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. the, that collaboration with corporate. Yeah, it's very brave for them to always ask creatives because creatives sometimes can be, you know, a little bit too creative. But it's very brave for, for these companies to say, hey, we have this project, please do something with us. And uh, I'm so thankful to have done something with Steers mm. to collaborate with them for the last season of Game of Thrones. Thrones. That yeah. was legendary. Yeah, yes. that was really a milestone for me. And also to do something with Mr. Price Home. I mean, I remember we launched the blanket and in three weeks it was sold out. Sold out. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's just crazy um, how well these things have been received. Yeah. But still, if I go up on this list, my favorite on top, South African Mint. <laughs> Congratulations. Als mensen niet weten waarom ze op een één rij tussen Pretoria en Johannesburg is uit Minten naar gebouwd. Ja, ze net voor het jij voor het jij met eraan komt. Ja. Uit Minten naar gebouwd. Nou, yes. thank you so much. Thank We, you. I'm going to go there and buy myself yeah. this little booklet because yeah. it's it's going to be it's legendary. It's and it's beautiful. Yes. All the coins. Thank you for making time to come visit us. Thank you guys for inviting me. Yeah, we just yeah. wanted to bring you back to Pretoria for a while. Please, October. I love this yeah. place. I love it because I'm from here. So. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Welkom bij die Groot Ontbijtse YouTube kanaal. Als je het nog niet gedaan hebt, maak zeker dat je het nu Teken aan door op die rode subscribe knopje te druk. Ja, ja. En dan voor meer video's dus die, dan klik jij op die... Wat is dat? Die playlist, die playlist. Die playlist knopje.